Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with a multi palette bingo and it is with the Menondry Cosmetics. So I have the Dragon Child, the Feral palette and the Whale Song palette and I have done palette bingos with all of these palettes one by one and now I want to do with all three and I will leave as many videos as I can up in the corner and then the rest down in the descriptions and all these has 12 colors so I'm going to pick two shades from each of the palette and I'm going to use random.org and you are not going to see, see a shit which colors I get so you just have to trust me so I will start and I will first take the dragon child then the feral palette and then the whale song so in the order that they came out and I'm going 1 through 12 so from the dragon child I have 8 and 2 and I think I'm going to just Generate the numbers first and then see which colors I will get and now we're going to the feral palette and there I have, uh, have four and six and then the whale song palette we have Eight and six and I think I'm going to swatch them for you. So I just have to see so okay from the dragon child I got two and eight or eight and two so it's dragon rider and myth or legend from the feral palette i got four and six yes i wrote it down so four is alpha and six is alien alien i don't know how to pronounce that so okay so for this long we got four mats from the whale song palette i got eight and six so it's breaching and reef and this feels a little bit boring if i'm going to be honest because okay no shimmers i would love to have at least one shimmer and it's yeah it's blue and green i wished for one shimmer at least and maybe something other than this it seems like they are all in the same color family but I'm going to work this out so I'm just going to stare at these swatches a little bit and then I come back and we start with makeup so yeah just some planning I think I know what I want to do the only shade that threw me off a little bit uh, was this one but okay I will start with Dragon Child and I will start with Dragon Rider and put it in my inner corner. Not my inner corner but like in here. And this shade it's packing on with this one. I can't use my normal technique with this shade but this technique is working so you just have to pack it on and then blend it a little bit but packing motion and a more dense brush then it works so good and this is dragon ride from dragon shine palette did i say that and i'm sorry for all the noise outside but i can't like close the window because then I'm going to die, I think. So, something like this. And then I want to go in with Myth or Legend. This one is also from the Dragon Child. And this I can blend out. And use my normal technique. And I want to take this in the rest of my crease. And what I remember, this is super pigmented. And pretty dark. I just hope I made the right choice. And I don't want to blend together with this brush because it feels like it can destroy this Dragon Rider. So I go in with the Dragon Rider and connect that way instead. Okay, I think I am satisfied this far. I was a little bit unsure how I was going to put 
put things on my lid but I think I know in which order I want to do that so then we go into the whale song and I take breaching this dark blue shade and I want to put it out here and I thought first that I was going to try to make not like a super blue look but maybe it's a little bit hard when you have three colors that are blue when you only have six colors to work with yeah, this was such a nice dark blue shade and I think it was Annette that told me with this Wilson palette it was better to start with a darker color and then go light because the darker colors if you layer them can be a little bit patchy so that's why I start with the darker darker color maybe I should maybe I would have done it even though in this look but yeah okay and it's now that I'm not so sure if I want to take the purple or the green one what do you think I decided first to take the green this reef but maybe I should take this purple instead I think I actually will take the purple so it's from the fair palette the purple one and I'm going to put it here do you see what I'm doing and I really hope that these don't marry up together but they shouldn't okay maybe this was a good choice okay, and I think I want to just put it there with this brush and then take the brush that I had in my crease and it's sharper outside and try to blend the edge a little okay I think I did this if I'm going to be honest I think this was a good choice maybe I am not so pleased it feels like it's a pretty hard edge in here I wonder if I can take like this brush and just just a clean brush and just smooth the edge a little bit okay, I don't know if this is helping but and now I have done it. So okay, for my inner part of the eye, I want to go back to the Dragon Rider, the one that I had in my crease in the inner part of my eye and put this there because I think this and the purple will look cool together. And I don't want to take it too much of this. I will go in with the purple again and blend it together with Dragon Rider this purple is actually really good if you have been here for a while you know that I have like me and green we are friends I never liked green eyeshadow before but now we are really good friends and me and blue we are starting to be friends but me and purple I just don't like purple but this purple this is good purple okay so I think I am done with the lids like this it feels like it's more purple on this side than that eye so I will take away my crazy amount of fallout fix my base and my brows and then we are going to do the under eyes and use the two last colors okay so I got so much blush here so now for the under eyes I have two colors left I have this green one reef from the whale song palette and also that one alpha from the Faro palette and I am going to take the easy way out because I don't want that alpha in here so I'm just going to take reef 
on my whole lower lash and then I just going to darken it down with alpha out here and I would love to have like some glitter shade in my inner corner but it didn't happen so I'm a little bit bummed out about that okay so that was the reef shade and now I'm going in with the last shade Alpha this one from the Ferro palette and just put it out here. I don't know if this will make any difference at all I was like I like this color, but maybe not If you have it with other colors Okay, is there any difference between the eyes? Yes, it is a Little difference, but it is a difference so I will put on mascara, something in my waterline. I will, I think I will take something green or maybe a purple, green or purple. I will see. Put on mascara and a lipstick, and then I will be back with the finished palette look, palette bingo look. So this is the finished look for my waterline. I took Peggy Bang from ColourPop. I think it, it's purple here and purple here. I think it came out great and for my lips I took a oh, snap from Colourpop it's a lipstick I always want to use this lipstick but then when I use it I am like maybe this isn't such a good color so <laughs> this is my finished look and we can just go over which shade I got so from the dragon child I got myth or legend and dragon rider so that's well in my crease and in here and from the feral palette I got alpha and alien and alien is it became almost like a little halo eye and alpha I just deepened it down out here and from the whale song palette I got reef and breaching so reef is underneath and breaching is out here and I think I like this look actually maybe I would wanted something else in my crease but I think this goes good together when I got my eyebrows on and mascara and everything it felt so much better because I thought I looked a little bit crazy there for a while so this was my palette bingo with the free palettes from Menagerie Cosmetics they're free normal palettes they have micro palettes as well so i really hope you like this and do you want me to do a palette bingo with some other palettes i have the Kaleidos. i could do a palette bingo with them i think about doing a palette bingo with monochromatic palettes from ColourPop. i know that a lot of people do it and i have actually ordered some more so i'm thinking about doing that but please let me know if you want to palette multi palette bingo with some other palettes and yeah i really hope you like this video i am pretty pleased with this i like the purple it's so bright and like boom i like it so much so yeah i really hope you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do and i hope i will see you in the next one bye